All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors apostles, great millstone, who rule and teach well. Uh, shalom to the Akim out there is pushing this truth to the four corners of the earth. Um, I want to do a quick, uh, quick, quick video on um, seeking the Lord why I may be found because right now we're coming to the time, you know, which is the end, end times. You know, this is the end games. You know, this is the time where, you know, this devil, Esau, the so-called white man known as Edom. He's going to show his horns. You know, like it says, um, and I, I believe Isaiah, you know, he's going to he's gonna crouch, you know, and then he's going to pounce, right? Roughly paraphrasing, you know, this devil is about to <coughs> show his horns, you know, because this time is speeding up, you know, and the time, the days, you know, like it says in Matthew's, um, no flesh shall be saved. You know, so like this, this devil, you know, he's... He's coming. He's coming to his um his end, you know. And the end goal is what for this uh, for, for for Esau. The end goal, you know, is for him to be exterminated, like it says in Obadiah. And the end goal is um for him to establish uh, the new world order, which is everyone has a MOTB in them, you know, which is the market. You know what? You know because right now. <coughs> We're in a time where there's uproars, you know, we're in the time where they're pushing the Karagma, we're in the time of um, World War Three. you know, we're in the time of famine, pestilence, you know, we're, 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 we're in uh, high dangerous times because any, any moment now, you know, they can have a next attack, you can have a next uh, COV, I don't want to say the rest, but you know, they're flagged, but... Anytime you can get a next uh, something, something uh, drastic can happen, right? I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a few scriptures. I'm just driving right now, so I'm just talking through the spirit. But that's the time we're coming to, man. Um, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow it. But let me get, got a, I got a few scriptures right here. This will make a short lesson. Uh, Matthews chapter 24. It's like, um, Matthew 20. Yeah, let me get Matthews uh, 24, 22 real quick. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. For the But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know, so those days are shortened for what the lack, the one third, you know, that's crying and sighing for the, all the abominations are done in the midst thereof, right? Because this devil, you know, he's, he has great wrath, like it says in Revelation 12 and 12, 12 and 12, you know, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the heavens of the earth and of the sea, because the devil has come down in great wrath, because you know they have but a short time. You know, because this time is running out. Yeah, this is the precept I wanted to get here. Matthew 24 and 14. And then this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. You know, so this gospel, no matter what, has preached, has been preached to the four corners of the earth. You know, so basically we're at the end end of this man's um, society, man. You know, um, where is that? Ecclesiastes, I believe. So, yeah. Let me get Habakkuk. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, sit Yahweh, and and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity, incredulity, or the unbelief of them that trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, so all of you that don't believe, you guys are just gonna get destroyed. You know, the same goes for the two thirds. What does it say in Zechariah? 
two thirds shall be cut off, you know, and then the one third, you know, you know, one third will survive. You know, so uh, verse five, behold, said Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon them, I bring plagues upon the world, Slakia, the sword, which is the modern day gun, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. What is it saying on uh, Genesis there? Um, let me get that. Corrupt. So, okay, um, let me get here. Yeah, right here. Uh, Genesis. Yeah, Genesis chapter 6, verse 11. The earth was, was corrupt before Yahweh, and the earth was filled with violence. And Yahweh looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh has corrupted the way of the earth. And Yahweh said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. You know, so at time of the flood, what what's going to happen next? Now it's nuclear missiles, which is a lake of fire, which is no hell. You know, that's when, you know, destruction is going to happen, man. That's the second death, right? And two thirds of our people will be destroyed along with these other nations and the so-called so-called white men. You know? They have to die on this side. So all those um, Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, which are all sellouts. You know, people, um, IUIC trying to, you know, big them up and everything. But they're all sellouts, man. All clowns, you know. Let me get that uh, Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the point here. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You know, so you got to remember how about Shemin al Shai in these times, you know, because evil times are coming. <clears throat> you know, and we're in those evil times now, you know, but it hasn't come to the, you know, to the full, for the, you know, to the, it hasn't built it up to that, that point. Um, verse two, while the sun, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out the windows be darkened. Verse four, and the door shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low and that's when the work is low. Because, you know, right now, I think next year they're laying off people on Amazon and for the other company, but they're laying, laying a lot of people off, man. It's going to be, next year's going to be a crazy year. Apostle Tahar named it, I think, the year of hell. You know, so that's the time we're coming to. And and, and just watch, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. You know, we're already in December. But going on, and the doors of the, <clears throat> and the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound and the grinding is low, and he shall rise up, at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters and the music shall be brought low. You know, and um, let me get here, uh, verse. Let me skip down to verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. You know, and this is what the prophets, the elect of Israel is trying to do. You know, um, keep the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, because without that, we're nothing. You know, we turned our back on the Mosai. Now, now we're trying to redeem ourselves. You know, and um, he's only coming for the elect and the one third. You know, all the, all the other bug outs, two thirds, they have to go, man. You know, but with that, I hope the, this video has been edifying. Shalom to the next video. Shalom.